Hey ladies, I'm back here with Nika Karan, who is a holistic coach and also a yoga mama. So one of the most common questions a lot of you have been asking me is how to get rid of that stubborn mummy tummy. I'm not a mom, I've never experienced it. Nika is actually a mom to two really adorable sons. She has gone through it, so she's here to share everything you need to know about getting rid of mummy tummy. So Nika, what can all the moms do about their mummy tummy? Yes, that's the question I get asked a lot. A lot of moms after giving birth are really worried about their tummy. It doesn't make them feel great, um, it doesn't look great, and just the self-confidence is just going down. So they really are anxious to get rid of it. The problem is that a lot of us start with doing different exercises like crunches and planks, and sometimes we don't see any results. Yeah. And then we start asking ourselves, oh, I'm doing all these exercises and nothing is happening. The tummy is not budging. So the thing is, we actually have to take a step back and before we start doing any sort of exercises we need to get our tummies checked for a thing called diastasis recti it might sound a little bit funky some mummies have no idea they've never heard about it I've never heard about it before I had my second child to be honest but after I delivered my second uh, son and I was checked by a midwife it turned out that I have abdominal muscle separation which is called the diastasis recti so what is it and what is causing it so basically, when you are pregnant, you are growing a baby inside your belly and there is a lot of intra-abdominal pressure inside the tummy and that internal pressure is causing the abdominal muscles to separate. You know that six-pack abs that yeah. you have, right? It always looks so nice. But usually when there is so much pressure, imagine the baby growing, your belly is just expanding. The pressure is so much that the, the muscle cannot hold the pressure anymore and it's just separating. Okay? So the thing is, once you do have separated abdominal muscles you can't start with doing abdominal crunches or planks or any other traditional ab exercises because it can just make it worse okay so in this situation you have to take a step back and start with some simple exercises and to strengthen your pelvic floor to strengthen your abdominal muscles your whole core and then once that's done once your gap is a little bit smaller you can continue with your traditional exercises strengthening and building your mommy six-pack ab Nika, if I don't know you, if I were to just look at your pictures, I would not believe that you have given birth because, let's face it, you have that nice six-packs, okay? <laughs> Does it always look that good, even you know after giving birth? How do you maintain that? No, it doesn't. All right, the short answer is no. A lot of time we just get self-conscious because you see other moms and they have flat tummies. But the thing is, after you've given birth and your skin stretched out, your tummy was big, the skin stretched out. Even for me, when I stand straight, it looks nice and flat. But the moment I will, I'll show you that. The moment I will try to bend a little bit, you'll see that little saggy, wrinkly skin. It's just gonna be there, I think so. Even though the muscles underneath, I can feel my muscles underneath and they are strong and I feel uh, strong in my core, but the skin will always be there and it's always stretched out. But you know what? It's all right. It just, it just probably reminds me of my two little boys that I've given birth to. It will be like a little tattoo <laughs> <laughs> on the skin that I'll probably carry with me forever. So really, don't obsess with that. Uh, we all will have that. The skin is never going to be the same like you were 20 years old. Yeah. It will lose some of the um, elasticity, elasticity yeah. yes. Um, and it's nothing to worry about. For me, the most important thing is to make sure you are strong and then you actually build that core strength and the pelvic floor strength in the beginning because that's the foundation of everything. So how do we go about checking if we have split abdominals? All right, there's actually a very simple exercise that you can do to check if your abdominals are split. And once you've checked that, then later on you can determine what sort of exercise you can start with. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so here's how we're going to make a simple test to see if Joanna has split abdominals, all right? So first to start with, you're going to bend your knees slightly and uh, you're going to lift your head up as if you're doing a crunch, just gently engaging the core, not too high, your back is still straight, okay? Then you're going to take your hand and see where your belly, belly button is, all right? So here is your belly button and you're gonna twist your hand around and just try to see and measure here inside if the, t the, the finger actually goes inside, okay? 
It doesn't go inside here. Joanna's abs are <laughs> rock hard, okay? But typically, if you have stood abdominals and you twist your hand around, you're able to see how many fingers can go deep inside that little hole, that little split in your abdominal muscles, all right? So to measure your split abdominals, you use your fingers and that's the measurement. So it's either one, two, three, four fingers width. When I was pregnant, after my second pregnancy, the split was about two finger width. And normally, almost 100% of women will have any sort of um, separate muscle separation. Usually it's about one or two, but a lot of times it tends to go a little bit deeper. And now, if it's just one finger or two fingers, you don't have to worry so much. Usually after a few months, the muscles will naturally start to go back together. But if the separation is more than two fingers, you should be able to, you should start with certain core exercises to strengthen your muscles and to also help to close the gap, to start bringing that muscles together. And once that's done, you can progress with other core exercises. So now we are going to show you five simple exercises you can start doing right now to strengthen your abdominal muscles, your core, your pelvic floor and to start closing that gap in your abdominals if you found out that you actually have it. Alright, so we're going to start with lying down on our back, okay? Keep your knees bent, your feet slightly below your knees. Okay? And from here, your back is neutral, we're going to start with if you have a ball or a block, you can just bring it in between your knees. Okay. And we're going to start with bringing your hands down and just trying to squeeze the ball with your knees. All right. By doing that, you are going to learn how to engage your inner thighs. When your inner thighs are engaged, your core muscles, your deep pelvic floor muscles are engaged as well. So just slowly squeeze in and out and squeeze in and out and remember to focus on your breath you exhale as you squeeze in and then you inhale when you open up and again squeeze and open try to do it for 10 rounds okay again squeeze and out all right, this is your first exercise. Now the second one we are going to move on. You are still going to squeeze the uh, ball in between your knees, but now we are going to add lifting the hips of the ground into a simple bridge pose and then squeezing as well, all right? So with inhale, you're gonna lift up and squeeze with exhale, open inhale and exhale down. Good, one more time. Inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open, and exhale down. All right, let's repeat eight more rounds. Inhale, and squeeze, and open, and go down. Try to really breathe in into that pelvic floor. Open, and go down. Five more, lift, and squeeze, open, and go down. Four more, inhale, Squeeze, engage the inner thighs and go down. Last three, inhale and squeeze, open and go down. Remember to breathe. Make sure your movements are mindful. You don't have to rush. Last round, inhale, squeeze, open and go down. All right, take a deep breath in. You can remove the block or the ball okay now we're going to move on to another exercise so gently bring your knees towards your chest palms on your knees and we're going to drop one heel down left and then lift it up and again drop and lift up all right slowly inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale all right let's do five more and exhale Inhale, feeling your core, Joanna? Yes. Exhale. It's really gentle. Initially, you might feel like you're not really pushing your body too hard. Don't worry about it. Don't rush to push your body, all right? It took you nine months to carry the baby and take your time to go back into your good previous state. All right, one more. And on the other side. And back. All right, release your knees. And from here, we are going to move to another exercise. Let's just gently sit up. 
Okay, let's go back on our all fours and we are actually going to go on our forearms. Okay, all right, so just bring your forearms down and your knees are just below your hips, your back is straight and we're going to start with lifting your right hip up, your knee up, alright? And then gently release. As you go up, engaging again, core your pelvic floor. You don't have to go too high. Exhale and inhale. And exhale and inhale. And exhale, inhale. Another four, gently. Three, and two, one more, and release. Let's repeat on the other side. Left leg goes all the way up, and then slowly down, and up, and down. Awareness of your breath. Exhale, and inhale. Try not to sink your back, and inhale. Five more. One, and to do it slowly, no rush. Make sure your muscles are engaged. Three. And two. And one more. All right, that's it. And the last exercise we are going to do is our good old squat. We have to strengthen our legs in order to strengthen our core muscles. So let's get started. All right, so we are going to gently go down with inhale and then slowly exhale out and again inhale and slowly exhale out and go down and up make sure you're not tucking in your tailbone just keep it neutral another four slowly and inhale and one another two and one and that's it these are your five exercises you can start doing today. If you found out that you have split abdominals, do these five exercises for three rounds. It will, won't take you more than 10-15 minutes a day and you will really start seeing your core strength, your pelvic floor strength coming back and hopefully you will start closing the gap and then you'll be able to go back into your normal routine exercise very soon. And what should they do more of as well? Should they be walking a lot more every day? Yes, there is one thing, if there is one thing you can do to actually help rebuilding that strength and also closing the gap is walking every day. If you can go for a walk with your baby for 30 minutes, up to one hour, you will definitely help to strengthen your muscles. What about moms uh, who have given birth more than six years or seven years? Will these exercises still be effective for them? Yes, that's the thing. A lot of moms are not aware that they have that and then be doing all sorts of crunches and planks and all the other abdominal exercises and it actually is not going to help and you always are going to have that mummy tummy until you go back to basics until you close the gap so yeah definitely even if it was six years ago or even ten years ago I've seen moms who are uh, with this amount of time since giving birth and they're still able to close the gap and start getting rid of that mummy tummy with the simple exercises so moms you can start these exercises right now at your home. Do it every day like how Nika has suggested, okay? And Nika, we can get more information from your website, correct? Yes, there is more information and a step-by-step -step program. These are just the uh, simple exercises you can start with, but definitely it progresses into more advanced ones. Um, and you can find all the information on my website in the link below, below this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all find this video to be really useful. Do subscribe for a lot more more yoga videos with Nika and we will be filming a lot more together. Thank you and be sure to check out the link in the description box. Thank you, see you next time. Bye! Bye!